All right, so the um, tool that I use to storyboard that. So um, here's an assignment that um, I use with storyboard that. It's plot analysis. I talked all about the tool um, in lesson three, but this is how I use it in Canvas. So I used page um, to create, no, I used assignment, excuse me. And I kind of went over kind of um, what the assignment was. And then I give them step-by-step -step directions. I like to color code it for my students who um, sometimes need the differentiation in a list. Um, this has really helped them. So I kind of went through what to do in it. Down here, I have 60 points and I have a text entry box, but also I also taught them how to download it as a PDF to their um, Google Doc or their Google Drive, excuse me, and then turn that in. So once they completed it or worked on it, they could turn it in and this is what it looks like on my end in um, SpeedGrader. So they'd be able to fill this out um, and tell me, you know, kind of about the plot. And then you can use the annotation tools to kind of mark and talk to them about what they did in here. And then they were able to um, get the grade from me. The most important thing is that they had written out the, the plot diagram. If they got to the pictures, um, if they didn't get to all the pictures, that was okay. Cause it's our first time using the program. So a lot of them got caught up in what they were doing. Um, but, um, so that was really great. And if they did the PDF, then I could see it right here in canvas and they can see all my notes on it. So that is kind of a little bit about what I did and how I used it. Um, it's really important, um, for them to go through clever. I wish there was a way that, that storyboard and canvas kind of don't connect yet. So the easiest way was for me to use clever and then to go storyboard that and everything was already there. Um, so that is a little bit about my tool.